The 22nd Annual Arizona Young Artist Competition is this weekend at the Herberger Theater and here to share some of this, uh, so how this competition works is Cecily Washington Wiener. Good morning, Cecily, how are you? Good morning, I'm great, thank so you. So this is bringing the best of the best of our young artists together, uh, which is so amazing, but we also have to mention that it's supposed to be the 23rd year, it's the 22nd because of the pandemic. Um, so a lot of these performers are very excited to be a part of this. Um, and let's talk how this first come all about. Yes, so the great and late Francis Smith from Center Dance Ensemble was the founder of the Arizona Young Artist Competition along with Arlene Brewster. Yeah, and so, and it's great because this is the opportunity for our students to shine on, a little bit on their own also together. Uh, which is so important because this is where they get to move on to college or on to other performing arts of what they want to do and that's why this competition is so important. Yes it is. It provides a wonderful experience especially for those who want to take their art to another level. Yeah. So the competition in the categories of dance, uh, musical theater voice, classical voice, and acting and it's with for young performers all over the state of Arizona. Right and let's talk about what those eight Ages are because it's kind of interesting when you when you find out these ages and especially seeing them on stage you're like how old are they? <laughs> <laughs> exactly performers age 15 through 20. Yeah. Yes. And, and we've had some very I mean amazing people come out there have moved on to Broadway through this competition over the years um, and on to movies on to writing behind the scenes and also actually just becoming doctors nurses I mean that's what's so great about this competition that they get to shine there and then when they move on they're shining in whatever field they want to do. Yes definitely built on the tradition of encouraging and showcasing our talent. Yeah. Okay uh, it's been a fierce competition because auditions and getting into it has been going on for the last couple of days. <laughs> yes. So this weekend on Saturday it is going to be the the final competition. The right? final competition Saturday 7 p.m. at the Herberger Theater Center. So currently this week we have 79 contestants wow. and today is the last day for audition so we're focusing on dancers only today. So okay so that's the thing and so you had it where it's different categories each day and the dancers are now and that's what's so also important about this is that you're not clumping them all together everyone has their different categories they're going to compete in that is correct that's correct so musical theater was uh, yesterday a uh, day before that was classical voice and on Monday it was acting yeah and, and what's really neat too is that you might see some of these uh, of course um, actresses actors um, in the different categories because again they have the classical singing going on. I think one year I did see someone who was in every one of the categories. I was just amazed at them because they went from the classical to the theater, to the dancing, to the acting, um, just to show their different range. And, and that's what this competition is about. Yes, it is. Yes, indeed it is. And I will tell you this. Last night I had about three students that returned for a different category. <laughs> so, I mean, it's just absolutely wonderful that they're, you know, that they're learning all of these different different art forms and able to just share it and just showcase it. Yeah. So it's a really big deal. It is. And, and and them getting up on that stage is a big deal because I have kids in theater because this is what they're going to go through when they step into, as we can say, the real world that's of, right. of arts where the auditions are like this. And that's what you, you teach them. Yes, we do. We have an esteemed panel of judges. Um, for every category, our adjudicators, and then of course that big Saturday night, um, they will be selected. Each of the winners will receive $1,500. And then we also have that wonderful People's Choice Award where the contestants will be able to win $100. Wow, So that's awesome. And they want you to go out there and support, because that's what we really need right now, supporting our arts with everything that's gone on Broadway and theater and everywhere. So this is your opportunity. So this Saturday, what time does the doors open? Doors open at 6.30 p.m. and the show starts at 7 p.m. There you go. And you want to get down there. Tickets are available? Yes, they are available. $10 for adults, $5 for students. There you go. And if you want to go and see if your child wants to be in this, this is where you take them to see them put these points and then it's amazing to see. So. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. So there you go. And we have information on AZTV.com 
on, of course, how you can get more information about this great competition happening for our young artists around the valley and around the state. So it's really nice. All right, come on back. More mix right after this.